South Florida has a new fast response cutter for keeping the water safe. And while it's not the first of its kind, it does have some added features designed to help catch criminals more quickly. Teen 6 reporter Claudia DeCampo has the story. The last of the new fast response Coast Guard cutters arrived today. A crew has been working almost for five months as they came together to do training to get the ship prepared. The Paul Clark, named after a World War II hero, will begin its mission in about a month and a half out of the Miami Beach Coast Guard base. We'll be primarily doing law enforcement, search and rescue, uh, marine safety, and homeland security. In the last few months, the Coast Guard intercepted a number of boats carrying illegal drugs, like marijuana and cocaine. Now with these new cutters, they hope to do more of the same. This is cutter number six in South Florida, replacing the smaller 30-year-old F-110 cutters. If you're looking for the helm, this is where you'll find it. It's now been changed to an electronic lever to steer the ship. New, too, is how the crew operates the rest of the ship. We can operate the ship with a lot fewer people much more efficiently. Um, so everything is controlled via computers uh, as opposed to a person going down and turning a valve. And their firepower is also computerized now. What you're uh, looking at is a, a Mark 38 Mod 2, a 25 millimeter main gun. So effectively, once it's loaded, uh, we operate it from the pilot house. Uh, it has its own um, uh, sensors and cameras that allow it to, to target uh, vessels. And the new cutters are bigger, but they need smaller crews of only 24 officers. Claudia DeCampo, NBC6 South Florida. An update now on the...